Hey Leo, welcome back. Happy Lunar New Year, which begins today. It is the year of the rabbit. If you would like to know what year, what animal goes with the year you were born, you can simply Google um, what is my Lunar New Year animal and put the year you were born. It'll come right up. I was the year of the tiger. So we're going to see what messages need to come out for you. And we're also going to pull um, fortune cards. Do stick around to the end. Because, again, like I'm going to pull Scrabble tiles, you may see your initials in there, letters within your name, and you'll know that this reading is meant for you, that there are messages meant for you to hear. All right, let's see. Go ahead and leave a snowflake emoji if you're interested in a free reading for the month of January. I'm going to randomly choose two people. So for those of you who go ahead and subscribe that are new or um, cross-watchers, I'm so grateful you're here. I do giveaways every month, and this month is two free readings. Make sure your notifications are on, um, and like I said, you just need to be a subscriber. And if for any reason you would like your own personal reading for the year ahead, for anything, for love, head over to my Etsy shop. The link is down below um, at any time you would like me to tune into just your energy. Okay, Faith, Archangel Raziel at the bottom of the deck. Archangel Metatron. Miracles are coming. Let's see what else. Angel of New Beginnings. And it's like you're, you're about to step through that door. Holy Spirit is guiding you right there with that dove. And you're, you know, whatever you believe in, your um, spirit guides. It's like you're, start, you're beginning to, you're going to start a brand new chapter. Maybe a few. I do feel like there's going to be balance in your life. And here's, where's two? Two, two, two. So do pay attention to repeating twos already. All right, for my Leo spirit. Angel of lifestyle and affection. I inspire joy and support time off in order to live a vibrant, fulfilling, and pleasant life. It is okay to pamper yourself. Card of 36 and 9. Something could be taking place that's game-changing in your life in the month of July. And it says, take time away. The crystal that goes with, um, the crystal that goes with this card, with this reading, is citrine. That yellow crystal, the real pretty yellow one. Okay, let's see what's coming towards you. Get into your reading. my Leo spirit. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus placement. The main focus that goes with your reading during this lunar new year is the emperor taking, knowing your worth, making Big decisions based on logic, being very practical but knowing your worth, very stable for yourself. It's like you have a lot of plans like that you have set forth for yourself. But this is you taking charge of your life. That's amazing. The new opportunities that are coming your way those that you're manifesting. You're in your power, Leo. Archangel Raziel, right there, having the faith. Right there. And in this art card, too. Two major arcana already. But it's what you're thinking about. Those goals that you're setting for yourself. How you're taking back control in your life. And it's like you're being your own hero. 
and your thoughts and your emotions and keeping your vibration high, you're manifesting those things that you truly want. What you're letting go of are any struggles, any challenges. Anybody that brings energy into your life, that is a struggle. All right, what will help you thrive? Spirit will help you thrive. The Wheel of Fortune. This is an amazing, amazing reading so far. The Wheel of Fortune. Who's going to help you thrive? The universe, your spirit guides, your ancestors. They all have your back. There's a brand new beginning happening for you twice. Right here, the Wheel of Fortune and the Angel of New Beginnings right there. How to best approach your challenges. Full speed ahead. Archangel Metatron. Determination. Self-control. Yin, yang, balance. Leaving the past in the past and moving forward. And what do you need to take action on? You may have earth in your chart or you could be dealing with an earth sign. Taking action towards your, your goals, your career, your stability. This is also of power. So for those of you that are taking back your power, that know your worth, you could be becoming your own hero, your own boss, opening your own business. You could be have been thinking about that and trying to put that plan in motion. Now is the time to do it. Be having your own stability. Not needing anyone for anything. All right. And Spirit, what is the overall message that you have for Leo with this Lunar New Year? Overall message that you have for Leo in this Lunar New Year. Look, that one stuck. Yep. It felt like love was going to come out at some point. Walk away from anybody who doesn't have the truest attentions. This is a year of you loving yourself. Putting yourself first. And like I said, the love that you give out, the respect you give to people, the um, how you allow yourself to open up to people, if they don't appreciate that, if they don't respect that, if they don't give you that equal give and take, walk away from it. But I also feel like during this year, this might be somebody that you've already dealt with where the two of you walked away from one another and they may be coming back with a confession of love. Yeah, I really feel like there's someone taking action towards you. I feel like there's been some healing that's been done um, on both your parts. I feel that they find you very passionate. They are passionate towards you. They find you very sexy, very confident. All right, let's see what else we got. Ten of Pentacles, like I said, working on your stability, thriving when it comes to your finances and your career. Magician twice, we're definitely going to clarify that. Four of Wands. Possible soulmate connection here with the Four of Wands, the 11-11 card. But again, it's the also the meaning of your stability. Working hard for your stability, overcoming any feeling like you're on the outside looking in, feeling out of lack. Or alone you're overcoming that this is definitely going to be a time of victory and like I said I really feel like for some of you there is an air sign coming towards you with a confession 
that wants this divine union with you. All right, spirit. Let's see what popped out. The Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. You've got two Aces of Cups and two Aces of Swords. A breakthrough in love. And this person's going to be all about you, Leo. All right. Let's see what else. Justice. Definitely could be a Libra. Wheel of Fortune again. Divinely guided. Everything coming towards you is divinely guided. It's meant to be in your life. I feel like the two of you have definitely have felt some sadness. I feel like definitely. It's like the two of you come from like experiences of sadness, of like not being on the same page with someone. And look at this. They're coming in right towards you, Leo. Heart completely open, wanting to sweep you off your feet. And with you winking, I feel like you're ready for it. You're inviting this in. Let's see. Why is the magician here twice? What is it Leo's manifesting? Time for action. It's like you've taken that break. You've worked on yourself. You've taken a break from someone. I feel like they've walked away. Yeah, making the plan. Definitely a comforting connection from the past. And if you even thought about like starting something brand new for yourself, something that you've always had a dream of doing as you were young, Spirit is saying, go ahead, there's going to be such victory in it. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here twice, Spirit? Yeah, see? It's like where you showed up, where you offered somebody something very abundant, I feel like they couldn't reciprocate. It's like they had the energy of feeling stuck. They may not have had it to offer you, but now they want that equal give and take. Now they want to... Pay it forward to you. Give it. Give you exactly what you gave to them at some point. Why is the Ace of Swords here? And the Ace of Cups twice. Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups twice. Yeah. Manifesting this. Definitely could have been an air sign who seemed emotionally unavailable at the time. And you're going to go the distance with this person. I truly feel... It is a soulmate connection. Truly feel it's a soulmate connection. All right. Additional clarity spirit for my Leos. Milk and honey. A time for you to receive and just be happy. Pay attention to repeating twos. Pay attention to rainbows. But there's a deep knowing of something, Leo. I feel like you know deep down in your heart, there's more for you. There's more with a specific person, and there's more for you. And there's the sun. The sun and the angel of love. Leo, this is an amazing reading. All right, let's pull some fortunes. I'll take the one that was on the top and the one on the bottom. Let's see if I can use my nail. I don't think this is going to work. What if I use this? Yeah. I'm going to have to clean off my crystal now. All right, let's see what your fortune is for this Lunar New Year. Good things. Good things are said about you. See, you're being noticed. Good things are said about you. It's like, I feel like there's this person that realizes they want to be with you, that has really put some work into their life, 
and now has more to offer is coming towards you. And I feel like they say amazing things about you to people. But I also feel like it's the impression that you leave on people. You know, it's how you put yourself into connections that people appreciate you and want this new beginning with you. And this one says, may fireworks spark for you a new enterprise. May fireworks spark for you a new enterprise. I'm telling you, for some of you, you're thriving in terms of your business, reaching big goals that you've set for yourself. It may even be to open up your own business. That might be a childhood thing that you've always thought about. And Spirit is saying in this, in this reading to go ahead and do it. Now is your time to thrive. You're being noticed. King of, King of um, Pentacles right there. Full speed ahead, Leo. No looking back. For this person where there was a walking away of love, I'm telling you they're coming in ready for this connection. It's like they don't want to be without their Leo. Alright, I wish you the best of luck. Um, oh, Scrabble Tiles. You know how many times I end a reading without doing them? I don't think ever for my Leos though. I do feel like you're going to receive a message online or you may be meeting somebody that definitely stands out to you online if you've not already met them. I have D, T, I, E, B, Z, N, V, L, W, O, a, and that's it. All right, take what I said in this reading, um, how it resonates. The Scrabble tiles, if it completely resonates and you don't see any initials that stand out, that's completely okay. But your fortune for the new year is going to be a firework. Fireworks going off in your life for a brand new beginning, a brand new enterprise. And good things are being said about you. You are being noticed. All right. Love and light, Leo. You know, I love all of my Leo subscribers. Um, and I wish you the best of luck.